details now on a battle over building. A planned housing development just north of Tucson is running into some fierce resistance. Builders have been playing catch up after the pandemic, so this is the first big new development fight that we've seen in quite a while. Quell Canyon would put hundreds of homes and apartments on a strip between Oracle Road and the Pima Wash south of Rudisil Road. 13 News reporter Bud Foster is live there. Bud, what's all the fuss about? Well, the fuss is about whether or not this piece of property, an old abandoned golf course at Oracle and Rudis Hill, should become home to a major development where hundreds and hundreds of people live. Now, many people who live in this area right now believe this is a perfect opportunity, perfect place for open space, riparian habitat. Pima Wash is right over there. However, others argue this is the perfect place to help ease Tucson's housing crunch. I think it's too dense of a development for the area that they want to be in. And the signs which dot the landscape shows many people agree with area resident Jude Cook that the area should remain riparian habitat and open space. There's enough opposition to the project that it will take a super majority of the board to approve it. And that requirement was triggered very early on uh, for this development. So four of the five supervisors are going to have to vote in favor of it uh, for it to move forward. The plans for the development, which sits near the Pima Wash, is for 210 apartments and 100 single-family homes on 53 acres. It's an infill project, which are generally controversial, but the developers say it's a necessary project. It'll help address the housing shortage. Um, look, we, we, we are continuing to have a shortage of both multifamily and single-family homes. And there's one way to get out of that. But residents in the area say there are too many issues, such as potential flooding, desert preservation, and the increased traffic on a quaint two-lane Rudisil Road. I don't think Rudisil is up to the task. Uh, you know, it's a narrow, it's somewhat curvy. The road is down at the very bottom of the dip, really right next to Pima Wash. Still, despite the concerns, the project has been given a 7-2 to two due pass recommendation by the Zoning Commission. But for the board, that may not be the final arbiter. You can cite uh, statistics and studies, uh, but the lived experience of people who live uh, in an area is something that the board takes very seriously. And that's one of the reasons why I'm still undecided as to how I'm going to vote. That indecision should make for an interesting discussion among the board, residents, and the developers at the July 11th meeting when it's finally approved or not. The fact is, is that the county doesn't want to make this a park. Um, so it's got to become something. And housing is the perfect thing for this site. Now, there are not very many parcels this large in the metro area, which makes it very attractive for developers to develop. But it's also a very attractive place for people who live in the area. This could be beautiful open space and uh, riparian habitat. We'll see who has preference next week at the Board of Supervisors meeting at Oracle and Rudisil. I'm Bud Foster, 13 News. All right. Thank you, Bud. Arizona's